Hello and welcome everybody, this is Aprilian, thank you for watching this video about NBA 2K14 and Big Man. Now, uh, I thought that I would make a quick video about the new uh, signature skills that they announced uh, last night and talk just a little bit about uh, their effects on uh, Big Man and uh, how would uh, the selection of uh, signature skills change. First, just a quick uh, overview of the new uh, signature skills. First one is Pick and Roll Maestro, uh, the ball handler who excels at orchestrating the pick and roll as the point man in a pick and roll immediately following a screen this player receives a three point boost to his shooting attribute and is more accurate than most when passing to the screener uh, the second one screen outlet is basically the opposite of uh, the last uh, the pick and roll maestro screen outlet a player who excels as the receiver in the pick and roll pop game in this play, if this player shoots immediately following a screen he set, he receives up to 4 point boost to his shooting attribute. Uh, the next one, flashy passer. This player is known for accurate flashy passes. When throwing a flashy pass, the penalty enforced will be reduced by up to 60%. Next one, tenacious rebounder. This player is known for his relentlessness when going for rebounds. During rebound situations, he receives up to 50% increase in winning box out battles and poking balls loose on rebounds. The next one, Pig Dodger, a player who does not get caught uh, up on screens very easily. He counters the brick wall signature skill and when hitting a screen set by a regular player, the screen often fails to be effective. The next one, uh, One Man Fast Break. A player known for his ability to take the ball coast to coast in a fast break, speed, quickness and ball handling attributes are boosted uh, 6 points if this player takes the ball from one end to the court to the other on a fast break following a change of possession. And the last one, this is the pre-order uh, signature skill. LeBron coast to coast, takes the ball coast to coast and finishes through contact, speed, quickness and ball handling attributes are boosted 4 points and the shot penalty enforced for hitting a de defender is decreased when taking the ball coast to coast on a fast break following a change of possession. Now these were all the uh, new signature skills introduced. Keep in mind that they haven't uh, talked about uh, levels of uh, signature skills but uh, the wording suggests uh, that uh, there might be uh, multiple levels, so like level 1, 2, 3, uh, just like in 2K13, uh, because for example, uh, Flashy Passer, the text said that up to 60% uh, uh, boost to the accuracy of his passes, so I'm guessing, but this is just speculation, that uh, the signature skill levels will be in the game. Now, uh, just a bit more details, uh, focusing on the effects of these new signature skills on uh, big men and centers. First of all, pick and draw a maestro. This is of course something uh, that uh, only uh, boosts the pick and draw ball handler and it will most probably not be you. But uh, if you have a teammate like this, uh, then that would mean a, a big boost to you as well because he is more accurate to passing uh, to you so if you set him a screen and then immediately after the screen you ask for a pass it will be more accurate the next one uh, screen outlet however might be actually quite mandatory for big men uh, in 2k14 because if you watch my matches and I'm sure that if you play a big man in your own matches you set screens like 50 times uh, a match and the pick and roll uh, game is a, a very big part of uh, your team I mean your uh, gameplay meaning that uh, with this signature skill you get uh, Uh, four point boost to your uh, shooting attributes. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, we cannot be sure that uh, shooting attributes does it actually boost uh, uh, only jump shots or uh, does it add to layup and dunk? I'm assuming that it's uh, for jump shots, so may maybe uh, this would be uh, best used with uh, like dead eye or something like that. But it might not be necessary because you will be free after all because you just set a pick uh, and your 
opponent just switch to the guard. So this one might be uh, an important part of our uh, big man gameplay uh, in 2K14. The flashy passer, completely irrelevant for uh, centers because our passing will be bad anyway. Tenacious rebounder, now this one is uh, interesting because as you heard they took a scrapper and divided it into two parts. This tenacious rebounder is the rebounding part. Of course this will be mandatory for uh, all uh, uh, big men. But uh, so that's uh, without a uh, question. But uh, the interesting part will be scrapper because uh, of course it will uh, give you a speed and fitness boost whenever uh, there is a loose ball situation. Now the thing is that of course they talked, uh, so when, when, first of all when does a loose ball situation uh, occur? It can occur most of the time after block, but uh, as I noticed uh, in my case uh, whenever I block uh, the ball uh, it's uh, most of the time my teammates or the opponents who have uh, the better chance to pick up actually the loose ball. Uh, because I, of course, hit the ball away from me. Well, I mean, I mean, from myself. So, uh, in those situations, this might not be as useful. And the other uh, uh, time when uh, loose ball situations really occurred was when uh, uh, there was like uh, the full court press, and your guard uh, was uh, guarding the opposing. Uh, uh, guard bringing up the ball uh, and you know the ball handler would do his three crossovers and two spins and again a, a hesitation move the usual dance that they, they do which is really annoying and in most cases or at least like half of the cases he would turn into his opponent and drop the ball stumble around and uh, uh, the other guy the full court defender would pick up the ball and go on a quick pass break. Now, uh, if this is uh, if this stays in the game, then scrapper might be interesting, but you will be far from the ball anyway. However, they of course said that uh, I mean, 2K said that uh, defense has been uh, improved in the game, and uh, it is uh, very rewarding now and works uh, completely differently and feels natural in the game. So we can assume that there might be uh, more uh, uh, free ball situations so you can actually strip the ball from uh, your opponent easier or like uh, also like they said that uh, and you notice it in 2k13 uh, as well uh, as a center if you start dribbling the ball into your opponents you drop the ball because your ball handling is bad so if uh, this uh, defense is uh, improved and that means that uh, this dropping the ball because of low ball handling will uh, happen uh, even more often so scrapper might be uh, useful but tenacious rebounder of course uh, without a doubt will, will be like a cornerstone of uh, any big man as uh, signature skills big dodger uh, this is something that uh, I believe that uh, you just have to look out for not much you can do about it because it's basically the the countermeasure of uh, the brick wall. I myself don't really use and recommend brick wall because it's random when it will uh, uh, trigger and also you can uh, set perfect screens without brick wall. This one will mean that uh, you, even if you have brick wall, some opponents will not uh, or not only will they not fall to the ground, but uh, your uh, screens might be less uh, useful. I myself have never been uh, uh, picked as a center. I've never been picked, uh, especially by a brick wall uh, opponent. So for a center, this will this might be quite useless. One man fast break. Again, this uh, is uh, something similar to the new scrapper. Because uh, as a center, you don't really go on fast breaks. Now, in my latest videos and in my latest matches, I do go on a fast break like once in a match. 
uh, then ever I miss like a dunk uh, and the opposing opposing team goes on a fast break but they do, they miss and I'm so slow getting back on defense that I'm actually ahead uh, when we go on a, uh, on the counter fast break so uh, six uh, speed quickness and ball handling are nice but I, I don't think that uh, this will be uh, as useful as uh, as it sounds for big man and LeBron coast to coast is basically uh, just the same as a one man fast break with a bit of uh, of uh, finisher added into it so <coughs> I, I again don't think that this would be useful uh, for the center now just one last thing which is something which probably I understood uh, wrong in a previous announcement so not this uh, latest one but I, uh, as I understand, uh, they said that there, there would not only be six new signature skills, but uh, your signature skill uh, number will be increased to six, which might not be true. So maybe I, I made a mistake, but uh, or I misunderstood. But if that's the case, then uh, that means that of course uh, uh, you can add. Uh, so you can have the five signature skills that you had up uh, until now in the game, uh, of course with the tenacious rebounder uh, replacing uh, the previous scrapper, and uh, also you can then uh, add screen outlet, uh, which is the pick and roll receiver man uh, uh, new signature skill, and uh, put it into your uh, signature skill repertoire. Uh, just uh, without uh, having to delete any of uh, the signature skills that you have learned to love. So that's it uh, for me today. Uh, this quick news and analysis. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.